Well off the tape for this title fight. Amanda Lino, younger than her opponent, slightly taller, and she also has a seven centimeter reach advantage. So all the small advantages tip into her favor on the scale. Let's send her up to Cyrus. He's got our introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of EFC 70. Proudly brought to you by Keith Home and Exchange, South Africa's leading sports book. In partnership with Samsung, Adidas, Restonic Mattresses, RDG Rex Devin Gearbox, Dragon Energy Drink, Constantia Insurance, Beer Mix Flavored Beer, the Capital Hotels and Apartments, Aquavita Mineral Water, and Sun International. And now, from the Sabaya Casino and Entertainment Kingdom, Durban, South Africa, the time for talk is over. It's time to knuckle up and throw down. It's five rounds for the inaugural EFC Women's Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first out of the red corner. She is a judo specialist with an undefeated record of three wins and zero defeats. Standing 1.62 meters tall, weighing in at 60 kilos. Fighting out of Paris, France, I give you Rizlin, the Lioness of the Atlas, Suwak. And now her opponent, standing across the hexagon and fighting out of the blue corner. She is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of three wins and one defeat. Standing 1.66 meters tall, weighing in at 60 kilos. Fighting out of Durban, South Africa. She is the reigning, undisputed EFC Women's Flyweight Champion of the World. Amanda Mad Dog Lino! Ladies and gentlemen, when the action begins, your official pick a sword. The lovely Hexagon Girls proudly brought to you by Rex Diff and Gearbox. RDG driven by perfection. And there are your Hexagon Girls. And these are your women, your combatants, Amanda Mad Dog Lino and Rizlin Zuak. Biggest war with last second instructions in five rounds. Okay. Listen to my call and defense under all times. Touch gloves. Okay, back to your corners. Are you ready? Amanda, are you ready? Let's fight. Round one underway, brought to you by Dragon Energy Drink. In the black shorts with the gold trim, that's Rizlin Zuak. In the black and the gray, Amanda Lino and the power of Lino. Zuak wants to lock up. Yeah, you can see that she comes forward with both those arms. She loves to just put hands on people and just throw them all over the place. And now and here she we closes go. the gap. Trouble! Lino goes what a takedown! Big takedown. And Mandalina back to her feet almost immediately. Are you Gets kidding me? Again. Ragdolling the mad dog. Up again, and she's got that on lock. She's gonna go for another ride. And How Amanda good is defends that time. Great defense there by Mad Dog. Not going on the right again. Yes, she, she has to separate. Oh, oh my again. goodness. She's gonna try to go right in for that yeah, crucifix. She's, go she's going, she's going for it. She oh might try and do How good is Rizlin? She's nasty. She's got that arm trapped. This could be it, Cyrus. Pops out. She has to Lino keep has distance. To get out she of the has way. to keep distance. Wow. Rizlin Zuak, though, making a big statement in the opening minute. Yeah, you have to put distance between yourself and her. You cannot clinch. You cannot get in any situation. Already a little windy here. She's on you. taking some damage. Yeah, well, she was thrown on her back three times oh, yeah. in, in quick succession. Oh, yeah. Th that'll do it. Yeah, for good reason. Stick this and is move. a five-round affair here, folks. Stick and move. She's going to have to be patient because Rizlan Zark loves to stalk her opponent, walk her down. And as soon as she closes the gear, there it goes again. Big shot. She Lino has to tries separate. to connect. 
Lands a couple of big shots, does Nino. And Rizlin lands a few shots. Up against the fence they go. She has to separate. You can see that over. She's got the overhook, does Rizlin Zorak. And she's right back into a bad place here with a judo specialist. Shot to the body. Rizlin is the real the deal. Up over the top, though. Lino fighting back. Keep in mind, Amanda Lino went up a white division to challenge Rizlin Zorak. She wanted to have a fight, and she has got one. What a battle. Wow. Rizlin Zorak throwing the bombs. Spinning back for this. Elbow. Wow. You wanted a fight, ladies and gentlemen. You are getting a fight. It's living up to the hype already. Lino and Zuak. Knee to the body. And again, she looks for the throw. Defends, sort of defends that time. And we separate. She shows you how good judo can work in this sport. So few people have managed to do it successfully. Lino lands a big shot. Right One, over the two, top. Three. And a left. Lino is doing damage. She but takes a, a big punch. right hand from uh -oh. Zuak. Yep. These girls are throwing with some bad intentions. Tell you what, Rizlin also knows she's in a fight right now. This is probably the toughest one she's had so far. Oh, believe that. Rizlin Zuak is undefeated in this sport. As and she's you, swarming Lino yeah, once again. As soon again. as you make a mistake against her, if I was a man, Lino, I would stick with those low kicks. They really work super well early on. Trying oh, to go over the, the top is Lino. Yeah. And now Zoak is trying to tee off. She is a mad dog indeed. But the lioness of the Atlas is stalking. This is what she does. We're 90 seconds away here in round number one. Oh, goodness, that it been that long already? Yeah. Wow. Felt like seconds. Lisbon Zoak, she wants to set her up for another big throw. Can she defend? On her back now is Lino. Rizlan Zorak goes for an ankle. Oh my goodness, she's going to go for that ankle. Twisting. Can she get it? Transition. Can Lino get out? And Lino gets out. Yeah, and now Lino oh, can she's actually going work. The can she land some shots from here? Rizlan Zorak, she's got the wrist control. We've seen her do it before. Poor Stephanie Quayle. I don't think she's recovered yet. Looks for the choke. It's an Anna Lino. She no might way have is she under it. Big shot. It's going to be tough to get Zuak. Seconds remain. 50 of them to be exact. Tries she's to step high. I think she's, she's no, I think her she's out. okay. Uh -oh. But she's going to try and she pound. Okay? She's going to try and pound it out. I mean, she's okay. Not in the rear naked, but she's going to pound out a win. Seconds remain for Rizlin Zuak in the fight Lino. of her life. Wants to lock that in. 10 seconds. Amanda Lino has to work, flattens her out again. Some more damage at the end. And that's it. Wow, what a round. What a round. Rizlin Zuak looked absolutely impeccable in the early going. But Amanda Lino did not give up. This is not the same Amanda Lino that we saw against Isabel Paré. No, she's a lot more controlled. She she's is still so super much more aggressive, but very controlled. She's fighting very smart. Exactly. She really is much more controlled. I reckon that's Amanda Lino's round. Very well could be. I mean, the last team things that you see in the round, she probably had at least two solid minutes in a dominant position. And the last thing you see for the judges is that. So it's going to be tough for Rizlin. Yeah, look Rizlin, at these throws, though. Beautiful. And, and as we expected, if she puts hands on you, if she closes the distance in a clinch, you cannot be there with her because you will get thrown around. Take a look at that replay. Big shots landed by both of them. I mean, I'm just incredibly impressed with Lino being as durable as she is at this point. Rizlin Zerk read those. The bun on her hair. She had like two little ponies when she came out, but I think this is the more traditional how she does her hair in training. Okay, just guys, needs to I'm get to business start. now. Yep, absolutely right. Getting down to business. Round number two brought to you by Dragon Energy. Not only helps you keep up with your fast paced life, big you ahead of it. punches by Lino and then backs out. Get in, get out. I think that's the correct way to fight. Now Rizlin throwing hard though. And then Lino's going to try and drag her down. Yeah, absolutely. 
She needs to use that trip and drag her down to the ground. She was very close on that rear naked, but now she's going to be underneath Zoak. Yeah, Bad place to be. a good spot, and this is a mistake that she's made out of her own. Should have guessed it standing, should have separated. Using the left instep now is Rizlan Zoak to try and pass, and she's going to do that. And Lino with the power. Lina's going to try and get back to her feet here, but Zoak has got a hold of her arm. Wow, gets back to her feet. My oh my. My oh my indeed. Lino has what to a fight keep the distance between them. Zoak wants to close. She wants to get in the pocket. She wants to put hands on her. Oh, big Lino shot. with a big right hand. Caught her on the backside of it. This is EFC 70 hashtag and wherever you're watching this masterpiece of a matchup. Cyrus Bees alongside Dirk Steenkamp on the call in the second round of a potential five round fight. Good firing up. She's like, how's this, the, the speed and the power in the punches of Lino? Get tied up again, to the body. Big knee. big knee to the body. Now Dirk tries to trip. Lino tries to get out. She takes Over the knee. Over the top. She's swinging. Swinging for a finish. Swinging for a home run. Good punch by Rizlan, and now she lays it on thick. Well, folks, if you're wondering if the women are ready for a main event yeah. here in EFC, the question is answered. Not only this, but our previous main event with Tiara Panko as well definitely lived up to all the expectations. This nice. is a fight. Vino has to do more of the leg kicks. It really does hurt Zoak. Backs her up. Oh, yeah, her, her legs are getting a nice little tint of red right above the knee. Big punches. That's what Lino That's does. That's how you do it. If I'm Lino, I would have followed up with that. She had her backed up against the ropes a bit. Up over the top. Go on, Lino. And Zoak with an uppercut, oh, a big throw. Nice throw. Wow. And that's always, always, always going to happen. Now Lina tries to right escape. Right back out, though. And she does. Wow. Respect, respect, respect. Oh, yeah. And again. Can Lino get back up after this one? And she's going to isolate that arm. Watch she's out. She's looking for that choke now. Here's some fix. Oh, she's got this arm locked up. This is a bad spot. Can Lino fight through? She has to fight through. Great blocking. By Lino, it's the best She defense. has to explode out. Amanda Lino, does she have enough left? Can she power out? She has taken a ton of damage by Zoak. One after another. But she continues to defend. She has to do Lino something. Lino not because going away. Right on top of the action. Lino, this is horrible. If she can just swivel her hips and pump out from the outside. She should be able to get out. And now and she, she does. Gets out of it. Wow. But now Zoak is just pounding on the pressure. The heart of Amanda Lino. Still not quite out of trouble. No, she's not. But she has not given up. And how much damage can one woman take? Apparently quite a bit. Looking for the arm ball. Oh, she looks like she's got this. Galino. Galino power through. Zoak she has to, to take the hold turn. She's going to do it. Rizzo Zoak, can oh, she get it? Oh, wow. She popped it out. Lino slips out. Wow. Less than a minute to go. 50 seconds remain. Second round. This might be one of the best fights in the organization's history. That is how good this fight is right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Both women taking a deep breath. Amanda Lino. They're both zapped. zapped. They're both zapped right now. Amanda Lino, how she's even running around is amazing to me. But Zoak put everything into that oh, finish. Oh, Zoak is tired, tired, tired. Big shot by, by Rislin. She threw a big shot, just missed. Linus of the Echoes. Now she gets hit with a big Here shot. Here comes the bad dog. But again, it's as oh. soon as she gets in the clinch position, she gets thrown to the deck, and this is her MO. Throw to the ground, grab the arm, isolate, she has get enough time. Only five seconds left in this round, and it looks like a Mandolino. Wow. Getting it saved by the horn. Wow. 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 I'm spent, and we're only two rounds in. That's trouble. That is quite, quite mental, I'm going actually. on reserves right now. I'm going on reserves. <laughs> That 
mental. That that's what that is. You're absolutely yeah, that right. Is Insanity. Else. That is something else. Restonic action replay. Amanda Lino coming out of the gate with some big shots. And then it went so to Rizman's a couple world. of real big shots. Um, but a man Lino can't get sucked into any sort of clean situation. Any position where their bodies are touching upright, she is gonna get thrown. And we've seen now this is probably the worst spot she's been in in the whole fight so far. And this is Zoax Emo. She likes that hip throw, getting the opponent right there, trying to put the pressure on the arm and then working from there. And also, this arm bar that she managed to escape from this was absolutely incredible for all money. She just had it. She had the thumb in her yeah, one hand. I it was, it was there too. Yeah, absolutely. I, really I, thought, I thought that was it. We're going into the third round of a potential five. These ladies are crushing the expectations right now, overachieving. Just saw Rizlan's coach screaming at her. Okay, this is a three. tight, tight matchup. And there's three more rounds to go. Yeah, absolutely. Potentially. Here we go. Third round brought to you by Dragon Energy Drink. Official energy drink of the EFC. Big punches by Amanda Lino. And, and she's she not gets scared to tie up. up with her. And oh, big shot. She lands a few. She is buckle. swarming. Big knee from Look Lino. Look throw that gets it again every single time. She's too, I mean, she's so good. But she's grabbing hold of that arm. Trying to isolate that arm, Gert. We haven't seen her attempt at Kimura. Is she going to go for another crucifix, or is she going to try to attempt the mount, a submission? Defended by the Mad Dog. Can she get back to her feature? Rizlan has a hold of that arm. Sitting oh, up the arm. Oh, oh, there it is! In. She there must it have. Is. That has to be it, surely. Amanda Lino is defending with all that she has. She has, she has to, to turn across, into it. She has no to space on the other side. And trying so to lose her arm. And here we go. Oh, I think that's going to be it. That's tight. Oh, no, 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 no. How on earth has she done that? Are you wow. kidding me? Wow. She's Mental. not human. Oh, 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 oh. 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 She Stop might, she action. might be off the action. point for that. She's going to get down to the point. Oh. Potentially. Need to the head I think she just got overly excited. It's going to be interesting to see if the referee's going to take a point here. He very well might. Nope. Uh, just no the point. One. Yeah, well, it was unintentional. And I don't think it did a ton of damage either. It wasn't but the problem is she had such a good position there you that she actually she gave did. up the position by making a silly mistake. I don't think it was strategic, but hey, it worked Down out. Big top. Top. Here comes oh, Lino with the ball. Ball. How is Zoak taking these shots? And again oh goes for the run. You can almost feel the frustration from the Durban crowd. This is like a roller coaster I don't want to get off, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just keep looking on going. For, looking for the mount now. Rizlin, she is firmly in position. Three minutes, 15 remain. Oh, man, that's a tough it's spot a to be in. Time. You hate to be in full mount with three minutes to go against an Olympian like Rizlin Zoak. Bucks and nearly gets... Her off and again, again, and now goes for the armbar again. again. No way. Galino in a great position to defend. She's fighting and fighting. If she can free up that left arm, she's going to start punching. Can she turn her over? What are we watching? We're watching one of the best fights in EFC history. Wow. Oh, wow. We're watching two women leave every ounce of sweat inside the hexagon. Lino Swarm. Oh, this swimming. is a great spot for her. A lot of time to work. Can she finish? Can she claim another title? Rizlin fighting from the bottom. Two minutes to go. And they're talking about having a lot of time on the clock. This is a bad place for the Lioness of Atlas. Well, she's got it. She's uh -oh. got the bag. That's so a much long time. Time. She's got to pound out of here they come. Here comes the shot. Lino's going to do it. Referee's right up top of the action. She Lino has to do it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. 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 The era just continues. The legend of the Mad Dog continues. Amanda Lino 
you are a double champion. Absolutely insane. That was nuts. Wow, 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 wow. Let me tell you something, Ruslan Zoa put it all on the line and she gave her the fight that she'll probably, the toughest of her entire career, even for the future of her career. I don't think she's going to go through something like this again. I, don't, I can't believe what we just saw. Wow. <laughs> that was absolutely yeah, insane. Inexplicable. We knew it would be good. We didn't know it'd be that good. Take notes, men, women. That's how you do it. That's heart personified right there. Yeah, she was in so many horrible positions, fighting out of armbar after armbar. Yeah, that is heart, will, and determination like no other. Oh my gosh. Just a beautiful exhibition of fighting, ladies and gentlemen. Rest Tonic bringing you the action replay. This is towards the end of the fight. Gets the back, lands a couple of big shots. One of the best officials in the business, Vicar Swat, right on top of the action. Eventually pulls her off. Man, oh man, oh man. What a performance by the Mad Dog and Mandolino. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Overcome with emotion for very, very good reason. Two division champion Amanda Lino did the unthinkable tonight. Wow, what a performance. Let's send it up to Cyrus. He's got our official result. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Vika Swart has called a stop to the contest at three minutes and 12 seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO due to strikes and new EFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda Mad Dog Lino. I'm here with your winner, Amanda Lino. Amanda, that was one hell of a fight. I give it to her, Rizman said that she was going to bring a war, and she brought it big respect to her. She's a phenomenal fighter. And, uh, you know, thank you to the Durban fans. Appreciate it. My family, friends, sponsors, my team, Curve Fighting Fitness, guys. Without you, this would be impossible. Those escapes, they come from all the guys uh, putting them on during training and that. So I'm so grateful for everyone. Thank you so much. And ESC for this opportunity. You know, going up a weight division, it was really tough, but I love challenges, and I tell you what, that was one hell of a fight, and uh, I'll do it again. Have you got any idea how you frustrated this Durban crowd every time you came into the clinch position and she just hip-tossed you time and time again? You could almost feel it near. How did you manage to actually fight through that and get out of those horrible positions? Yeah, I definitely say everyone was probably sitting on their seats. Their seats are probably cold, um, but, you know, I've got a great team behind me. My coaches, Ronnie from the Flook Dallas, my team from KO Fighting Fitness, Colson Gracie, you know, we, we train these techniques every day, and it proves just escaping those. I mean, she had that twice, and I was like, oh, this is it. But, you know, I kept giving heart, and that's what the, I mean, you know, Dallas, you've seen them fight at EFC. My team makes sure that you come in with heart, and you never give up, and you keep going. So it was either she was going to take my arm off and break it, but I wasn't going to give up. Well, congratulations. That was absolutely incredible. We look forward to seeing you again. Two division champion, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Lino. Trying to come down from this. That was an amazing performance by Amanda Lino and by Rizlin Zuak. Both ladies brought the heat. They got fight of the night wrapped up easily. That was one of the best fights I've ever called in my career that was special and now we have a double champion we have two double champions in the house we have a mandolino flyweight and bantamweight champion trickus duplicy welterweight and middleweight champion we got double champions coming out our ears right now but tonight is the night of the mad dog and like i said 
it's not just the era of Lino, it's the legend of Lino. A tremendous showing by that young lady who has a ceiling that is adversity she had in that fight, armbar after armbar being throw thrown. after throw. Yeah. She was in a horrible position so many times, and she just kept on coming back and pushing through. And my goodness, that was something else. Technical, just absolutely brilliant. Well, they're going to have to search long and far to try to find somebody to, to go against her. Now, in, in the bantamweight division, it's really interesting because Bumio Jawali came in and quickly dispatched of Demolition Jackie. Quick finish. And, and from what we've heard, that's going to be the next challenger for the Bantamweight Championship. So Durbin versus Durbin, I imagine that's going to have to happen in Durbin, <laughs> correct? I, I would guess. So whenever we announce the next Durbin day, make sure you get your tickets early because I guarantee that fight's going to be on the card. But how impressed were you of Bunmi Jawali? Yeah, she was so smooth, so good, good, just effortless. She didn't break a sweat. She went in there. She knew what she had to do. Get the fight down.